guys, I'm Elegant and Shu, and welcome back to my Pokemon Souls of the Zot Run. Last episode, we got to the Lake of Rage, and um, we accidentally killed a Gyarados, that's, that's unfortunate. This episode, I want to finish off the Lake of Rage, and hopefully evolve my uh, Bamps. So here we have Magikarp, and I think we have like one experience or something to get to the next level. So hopefully Bamps will evolve here, um, because I've had Bamps for quite a long time, and it's now level 30, and as well, I gave him the Soothe Bell, so... He should like me quite a bit now because it evolves with happiness. So, uh, which is basically liking your trainer. Um, so yeah, it's just just use fly just because we're a physical attacker and I don't even know. But use a splash, which is going to do nothing. Yes, exactly. Um, so it's raining here, so uh, thunder actually would always work in the rain, which I think is pretty cool. Um, I almost got thunder for um, meadow or like uh, not meadow. Um, Electro or Monsoon, but unfortunately, um, I didn't have enough money, but, uh, yeah, Vamps grew to level 31. And what? Vamps is evolving. And I have a Crobat now, which is a really strong Pokemon, actually. I mean, Zubats are often underrated because they are so, um, common and stuff, and they're not, like, powerful. But Crobats actually are actually really strong. I did actually think it evolved with um, trading for some reason, but then when I looked it up I realised that it was actually with happiness, so that's pretty awesome. Um, so we're just taking a look at my stats on my Crobat, and um, it looks like his speed is definitely the best stat, but it's more of a physical attacker than a special attacker. I thought it was the other way around with um, Zubats, but apparently not, which is actually pretty good for my team because I already have two special attackers and um, pretty all round for Meadow. Pretty defensive though, uh, mostly. Mostly special defense. Quite a bit. Normal defense. Oh no, mostly normal defense. I thought it was more on. I don't even know, but yeah. Fully evolved Meadow there. So my whole, team, my whole team's like fully evolved now. Um, bar, well, I don't have the last team member, but all the team that I do have are fully evolved, which I think is pretty cool now. Um, a pretty strong team, and I'm actually post-recording this because um, the last two episodes, um, well, I managed to record them while I was reco recording playing the game, which I thought was awesome. But then I started like saying like how lucky I was that I actually managed to do it, and then it just sort of messed up for me. But yeah, here's Electro with a lot of special attack, a lot of special attack, not very much defense, but um, his special attack is something to be admired, I suppose. And I'm glad that it's got boosted special special defense because otherwise it doesn't um, be able to take a hit. But it also has sturdy, which is awesome on those like runs because um, they can't get taken out in one hit. So I think that's just a really good thing to have because well we can't get taken out in one hit. So basically, and for no, it's if it does a hell of a lot of damage and it would take us out, we can survive with one HP. And oh, sorry about that. Sorry, sorry if you guys messed up. Um, Nakashima's being annoying. <laughs> I'm joking. Um, I didn't actually say hi to her, so that's my fault. I'm sorry about that. Um, but apparently, uh, well, Monsoon is very all-round, um, all-round stats, but mostly on HP. So that's really good. And Naka as um, also I forgot to say as Volt, so which is really good against Electric types. He heals up your HP. Naka very much speed and special attack, and also has the ability. Um, <clears throat> Synchronized, which is really good. <clears throat> Sorry about that, but um, Fluffy is not on my team, it's just uh, in my team at the moment. But I'm going to put it in the computer as soon as I am um, finished with this root area thing. Uh, so I'm sending out a bump, so I'll roll some new crowbats. Um, Intimidate is pretty annoying with Gyarados, as always. So I've to make them scary. Um, I'm just so sorry about last episode how I ended up killing that Gyarados and just. I didn't even look at its level when I was just... Gyarados is just so scary and you think it's so powerful and I overestimated them I suppose. Um, let's use Fly and take... Because I'm, I'm going to get all the XP from the Gyaradoses but not the Magikarps because the Magikarps didn't give anything. But the Gyaradoses give quite a bit of experience as you can see there. Uh, yeah so it is night time when I was actually recording this but now it's Sunday morning which I should be uploading this on Sunday so... That'd be cool, but so let's run away from all these annoying magic harps. Sorry about that if I hit the microphone if you heard that, but um all these annoying magic harps. Um in the rain. 
we get away safely? Sorry, I'm just a bit out of it today. I'm pretty tired, but I'm awake and tired, if you know what I mean. No, I'm not tired. I'm sort of awake, but I'm just not too snappy. Not too minute, I suppose. Um, I feel refreshed, though, which is good. And all these annoying magic hearts with their her, her faces and stuff. Um, yeah, I, I remember I almost, like... Well, not almost. I always keep getting the Lake of Rage name wrong. That's why it takes me like a pause before I say it, because I always keep saying the Rake of Rage, like, or something, because... <clears throat> I don't know, I can't say it without having to think about it before it, because... Otherwise, I'd just be like the Rake of Rage and other weird puns and stuff like that. Well, not puns, but other weird um, ways of saying it, <laughs> which is kind of weird, because... Lake of Rage is not some like some like alliteration or anything. It's just a simple name, but I can't say it without thinking about it. Because I'm weird, so um we should rename it to the Rake of Rage though, because that'd be a pretty awesome name. And uh yeah, it's level 13 Gyarados, so um we shouldn't get too much experience, but we'll get quite a bit, so let's just use bite so we can always take it out because fly occasionally does miss, but it doesn't actually do as much damage as I would have hoped, because actually fly does give a um a stab boost, so but luckily we take it out in a second hit. So that's always good. Um Gyarados painted on 397. There's still a lot of experience actually, so um what am I doing now? Um I don't even know what I'm doing. Hmm. I'm I'm moving the thingy around a lot, aren't I? Oh, I'm switching around my team now. Um, sorry, I was, now I've, I've got a support over to put out um, Monsoon because Monsoon is actually also level 31, but also needs to get some levels and stuff. And Secret Power, yay! But yeah, that's why I put it out. So sorry about that. But Secret Power is one of the two moves: the Hidden Power and Secret Power. I always get confused between them. The Secret Power is actually a move that um, it's power and it's type depends, and it's also its added effect depend on the environment, I think, that's around you. And Hidden Power, which you're going to be seeing in a minute, is actually a um, move that each different Pokémon... It changes with each different Pokémon, each different Pokémon has a different type with it. Basically, if you, te you can teach it to an Espeon, and it could ha either be an, an, it could be an Electric-type move. If you teach it to another Espeon, it could be an Ice-type move, but it can't be all... Like, if you get a bunch of Espeons, they can't all have different moves so within a range of, like, Ice, Electric, Dragon or something. Something like that. It's not That's not exactly right, I don't think that. But that was just an, as an example, if you know what I mean. Um, yeah, I'm just checking it out now because I wasn't sure um, about it. Because I could get them confused. But yeah, an attack move that affects depending on the environment and weather and stuff. So, yeah. Let's... We can't go through there, which is annoying, but uh, let's just surf around. And go up onto the ledge, and let's go into this strange house in the middle of the rain and the lake of rage. Um, so let's see what this guy has to say if I walk. Come on, there we go. What am I doing? I'm, I'm not sure, sorry about this, guys, but yeah. You have strayed far. Here I have meditated inside me. A new power has been awakened. Let me share my power with your Pokemon. Take this, child. Obtain the TM10, which is hidden power, like I was talking about before. Do you see it? It is hidden power. It draws out the power of the Pokémon for attacking. Yeah, he called me a child. I'm not a child. Well, in the game, I suppose I am, because you're maybe 10 years old, but whatever. Remember this, its type and power depend on the Pokémon using it. So yeah, that's basically what I was talking about before, the hidden power. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, so yeah, let's... Head back out into the rain and the lake of rage, or the rake of rage. Um, yeah, so let's surf in the rake of rage. Oh, I'm gonna so confuse myself with this now. Um, I'm just trying to make fun of myself, but it's not working. But yeah, let's use fly because we're done with this part of the rake of rake of rage. I'm saying it, the lake of rage, um, because the way I can actually fly uh, to it, which is pretty awesome. The funny thing is, I haven't actually been to this part. Of the rake, rake of the lake of rage. <laughs> I'm calling it the lake rake of rage so much now. So we're gonna head back down here and battle the trainers we haven't battled because we've been to the other part of the rake of the lake of rage. Sorry, would you get this? 
It's some red hair kid, kid made fun of my Pokemon. Hmm, my Pokemon's great. Yeah, so that's um, Matt. But yeah, I was saying we've been to the other part of the Lake of Rage, not the Lake of Rage. We've been to the other part of the Lake of Rage. The Lake of Rage. Oh gosh. <laughs> and um, so that means we can fly to that part. I don't know. It's a little bit of bad programming, I suppose, but I don't even know. I love Monsoon because I was scared of her, but um, since it's a ground type and I have an electric type, it's a really bad thing. But then I remembered Surf, so I can just surf it out and take it out easily. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry about my talking. I can't say the 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 Lake of Rage. I almost said the Rake of Rage a lot, but oh my gosh, just glitch out. No, no. So I'm gonna be right back, guys. So sorry about this glitch out. Um. In fact, no, I'm not going to be right back because I'm posting a rating, so yeah. Suddenly it got fine because I said in the original I'll be right back and I went and I came back on, but I don't have to go now because I'm posting a rating, which is cool. So, um, I don't think we battled this trainer either, so let's battle him. I love Pokemon. That's why I started a while to keep on collecting Pokemon. So is this a Pokemon collector, like a Pokemaniac or something? Um, yeah, Pokemaniac Beckett. Slowbro! So we sent out a monsoon, which is also going to have a super effective move against Slowbro, because um, it has electric type moves. That's why I love um, Chinchus and Lantern so much, so much, because they have so many super effective moves against Pokemon. They're just, I don't know if they're all rounders. Like, when you think you have a weakness, you actually have a strength. And I don't even know, but um, yeah, Slowbro, I love that paralysis. That's just amazing. And um, because Slowpog has got a lot of HP and defense, or special defense. Sorry, one of the two. So uh, we managed to paralyze it so it couldn't move and then just take it out. So Monsoon's just doing amazing. I love Monsoon. I really hope we don't lose him. Um, we beat Pokemaniac Beckett. How could you beat me? Uh, so yeah, I think someone's calling us. Um, I'm going to ignore them. I think we've battled all the trainers on this route now. So um, about that guy. Yeah, I'd be happy just to want a single rare Pokemon. Uh, yes, yeah, so we have done. I also wanted to talk about... Pokemon and Ice Path because I do have one more team member to get and I'd love to get a um, Swine up in the Ice Path and the Ice Path because it's perfect typing because it's a um, Ground and Ice which I don't have either of but yeah the Lake of Rage is actually a crater made by Rampaging Gyarados the crater filled up with rainwater and the lake was formed that's the story passed on from my grandpa's great great grandpa <laughs> sorry about that I used to it used to be that you could catch lively magic out there but Sis, I don't understand what's happening. Oh dear. Something's going on with the Lake of Rage. Maybe that's why it's raining so much and why strange things happening and going on. Uh, so let's head up here. And can we battle back the trainer? Oh, I'm just going to ignore them. I'm going to completely ignore them because I don't care about them. And I'm going to surf over here and try and get an item that I thought was on the other side but then I re realised was on this side. So maybe that why I was, that's why I was pausing. But yeah, as I was just talking about before. I love to get a uh, Swine Up because it's got perfect type coverage and it's a physical attacker and very defensive, which um, which I think would be very good for my team because I have two defensive types, not two not types. I have two defensive e Pokemon, but they're both more HP than defense. I have two special attackers. So I've got one physical attacker, so another physical attacker and a defensive one would be perfect for my team. I think. Anyway, I'm getting all st statsy and stuff on you, so I'm sorry about that. Um, yeah, that was actually the choice specs, which I'm a bit delayed reaction about, so I'm sorry. But the choice specs raise um, your attack, I think, because it's the choice scarf that raises your special attack. Yeah, but it raises your attack by loads, but it forces you to use um, one move. It, uses, it forces you to use the first move that you use constantly, unless you switch out and switch back in. And I think we just completely forget about the trainer, so I'm sorry about that. But yeah, the Gyarados are angry. It's a bad omen. And what's that in the ocean? Is it a red Gyarados? That's... It's quite strange, but we've never seen a red Gyarados before. So, did my eyes deceive me? I saw a red Gyarados in the Lake of Rage. I know, right? What's up with that? Um, yeah, it's freaky, but yeah, I thought Gyarados were usually blue. Yes, they are usually blue. This one is actually a shiny Gyarados, which is awesome, but unfortunately, we've already killed the Gyarados here, so, um, we cannot capture this one. Uh, so, let's go ahead and battle it. Uh, if we can, because it's being retarded, but yes. Just yeah! Still Pokemon not saying the names, but it's sort of like Gyarados, I suppose. Um, and there we go, a shiny Gyarados with the shiny sparkles and the red skin and stuff like that. And it's raining, and we send out Monsoon, and it, it 
was our attack, which kind of says, um, sorry about that if my computer screen went off because I left it for too long, but um, because it's kind of bad because we're going to use Spark, which is a physical attack, um, sorry uh, again. And hopefully we can take it out in one hit, but I don't think we can, hopefully we just do more than half HP, which we do, so that's always good. Um, so one more turn and it should be taken out. Unless Garros says something insane, I'm a little bit scared of- oh dear, not packed, oh my gosh, I'm sorry, Mac is talking to me again. Um, but yeah, I was scared about that because it's- Garros is extremely powerful, but Twisters only has 40 power, it's a dragon type, maybe can make a flinch, but it only has like 40 power, um, so sorry about if my audio ends up messed up because, like, Mac is just talking to me and stuff, but- Hopefully it isn't. Um, we obtain the red scale, which is from the Garrodos, which you get w when you catch it or when you um, kill it. But here we go, here's the black caped man with these dragon eyes. So let's talk to him. The red Garrodos wasn't acting right. As I feared, somebody must have forced it to evolve. Did you come here because of the wild tales? You're in shoot, I'm Lance, a trainer like you. No, you remember the Elite Four, you're an amazing trainer or whatever. I heard some rumbling, so I came to investigate. Yeah, so this is Lance, the Dragon Trainer, he's actually of the Elite Four, which is pretty scary because it's extremely powerful and uh, we do team up with him though, which is really good. I saw the way you battled earlier, aren't you? I can tell that you're a trainer with considerable skill. Yes, I know, right? Obviously. Because I'm like the best trainer ever. Only joking. But yeah, if you don't mind, uh, could you help me investigate? Excellent! We clicked yes, so I'm um, going to help him out. It seems that the Lake of Rage, not the Rake of Rage, and Magikarp are being forced to evolve. A mysterious radio broadcast coming from the mahogany is prob coming from the mahogany is probably the cause. From the tree, yeah, and the sus that suspicious souvenir shop. We're waiting for you in mahogany and shoe. Um, so he flies off on his dragon eye, and we do remember that little tree with the thing out the top. Maybe that was the reason for this um, strange radioactivity. But um, uh, yes, let's you let's also use fly to mahogany with our awesome brand new um, crowbar. So here we go. Flying away into Mahogany Town with its um, mountainous tree area. So let's just heal up a team and also put um, Fluffy into the computer. I completely forgot the name there, so I'm sorry about that. I mean, I know everyone names the Fluffy Fluffy. I just couldn't. I tried not to name it uh, Fluffy, but I couldn't think of anything else to name it, so I'm sorry about that. Um, so yeah, we heal up a Pokemon and uh, let's put Fluffy into the. PC and we go into our PC and not our PC into Bill's PC and put in um, Fluffy the Flaffy at level 15. <laughs> uh, so yeah, it's a pretty decent Pokemon, but I already have two electric types, so I'm not gonna use it. Like, I'm not doing a um, <clears throat> another electric type monotype run. Like, um, I'm doing a Fire Red with Nakashimified. But let's um, that's the souvenir shop there. So let's head in with the weird tree look, looks like a silver pseudo wood or something coming out of it, even though it's like an antenna, but oh well. Um, let's go into the souvenir shop. Exclamation mark. Dragonite's hyper beam. That's more like you're getting packed, but or oh, probably like tackle to be honest, because um it, it wasn't even that powerful because Giga Impact or Hyper Beam would take the whole house down. But yeah, what took you so long into you? Um, yeah, I don't know, that was a really weird move because it hardly did anything, but oh well. Just as I, th just as I thought, the strange radio signal is coming from here. And it took him a while to react then, and he did a sidestep, but yeah, the stairs are right here. Exclamation mark! And shoot, we should split up to check this place, I'll go first. So he goes downstairs with his Dragonite, and... There's two guys here in this freaky house with the music, but yeah, argh, you found the stairway, how'd you do that? I thought it was well camouflaged. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that, I won't go down there this episode, we'll have to save that till next episode to leave you in suspense, but yeah, argh. That guy's dragon type Pokemon are tough, even though it just like used tackle on you rather than hyper beam, because it ignored lands, it used tackle. Um, but no, it was actually meant to be hyper beam, but that didn't make any sense at all, but um, yeah, next episode we're going to head down there because we're on like 20 minutes now, um, almost. So, um, yeah, I'm hopefully going to record that today, but uh, we're going to head down there and see what's going on next episode. So thank you for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time when we go and catch up with Lance.